Here we are guys and welcome back to the channel. It's me Bassman, hello. And joining me today, we've got a really treat today guys. We've got Obi-Wan Ben on the camera. You're right. Hello mate. You're right. And Sir Keith has turned up as well. <laughs> hello Sir Keith. There Good he afternoon, is. Everybody. So yes, me and Keith are, uh, well we're down here for a mullet, me and Keith, and we've got a bait rod out. Ben's fishing with bait today. I've, got a, I've just put a bait rod out as well. So we're targeting bass, bream, anything, any early fish that's coming up. And yeah, it's a nice day for it today. It's yesterday was really sunny. I got loads, oh, yesterday was really good. But there's another video about that. So yes, we are here, the River Plym, and we're gonna work our way up to the top end. I'm gonna show you a really good, neat tide spot at the top end at Saltram. So yes, welcome along, we are rolling. And uh, it's not gonna be competitive at all today, is it, Benjamin? No, nope, not at all. No competition for. We'll see about that. <laughs> anyway, yes, welcome along guys. We are rolling and hopefully we can uh, bag up on a few fish and uh, yeah, get your juices flowing, sir. <laughs> Tight lines. Uh, all I've got to say really is we got six weeks worth of lug, fiver's worth of rag, 20 loaves of bread. What can go wrong, Ben? Let's go fishing, mate. Right, here we are. Friday morning vibes. Mr. Luscombe's got one on his tickling stick. First cast. First cast, but he's not competitive. I've, I've just arrived, by the way. You didn't even set up, have you? Well, I've just got here. <laughs> Has it come off? No. Nice. Oh, nice bass. Yes. Yes. Going well, isn't he? He's disappointed, isn't he? We're foul looked at or something like that. Maybe. Looks like it, doesn't it? Uh, I don't know. He's a keeper by the look of it. <laughs> Swan's not happy, look. <laughs> oh my god. Here we are, just arrived. Pandemonium. Yeah, that's a keeper, mate. Come on, get down there. Get him in the rock fast. There you go. Hey, hey, hey! Nice bass, mate. I'll just take you off zoom a minute. Yeah, let yourself out a little bit of slack and then present the beast to me. And here we are. Nice to be out with you today, sir. I've just got here. Tilt the fish back a little bit. There you go. Lovely, mate. On the river, Plim. Is that on lug? Yeah, lug. On lug. 1-0, mate. We're off and running. Not a comp. Go on, son. Did you say it's not a comp? Not a comp. Not today. Did Ben Luscombe just say it's not a competition? <laughs> it, right, okay, yeah. we'll see. We'll see when you're giving it 2-0, 3-0, 4-0. Well, you're mulleting, so I've got a good chance. You, yeah, I am mulleting, so you have got a good chance. Get on, mate. Right, so it's crabby as anything out there, so I've just given Ben one of my glass pop-up rigs. The ones without all the bling on, really, just the two floats. A couple of beads, so I'm going to change over as well. Because the thinking angler wins. Yes, mate. Right, there you go, son. Pop up Maximus. Got a little bit of lug there. Rag on the hook of one draping off it. I'm just going to move my floats back now. To about there. So, fully adjustable rig. Here we go, we're just about to leave to go up the top end. Well, hey, getting crabbed off. It's all right. Really 
Hey. Nice little bass. Hey, nice one, mate. Maybe. Yeah, it's a bit small, that one. Yeah, I'll get a shoot, mate. I'm not even going to touch a fish. I'll just flick them off. All right. That's the ugly corner, look. Yeah. There you go. Straight down, straight down. Gone. Gone. So, yeah, just a quick thing about the rigs, guys. So, um, obviously, it's very crabby in the estuaries at the moment. So there's a nice bass pop-up there, look, which I sell quite a lot of on my website. And I'm close to my dear. Hey, da -da -da. I'm, not, I'm not a girl. <laughs> I'm not your girlfriend. <laughs> Come close to my dear. Come hither. Right, that is my new spooning rig. So I've, I've made that, obviously, with a... It's like a 15-gram barrel weight locked off with a load of stops so it don't move. You've got some nice fluoro beads there and a nice, obviously, Aberdeen. And it's a big spinner. And it really pulls when you're spinning, the rod really bends over because this pulls against the tide. So I've got about, I think I've got 30 of these on my website. They've just gone up. Um, might never to be repeated. I don't know if I can get these blades again. So I've, I've got a deal on these blades. So yeah, they're, they're on the website, guys. There are, you can buy them singularly or a double. They work out cheaper in a twin pack. So when they're gone, they're probably gone. But yeah, they're gonna work, aren't they, mate? Yeah. Big time. Put a rag on and get it out there, innit? So yes, fishingguidesdevon.co.uk forward slash shop, guys. Yes, here we are, guys. So we've moved up to the top end. We're up at Saltram. If you know, you know. If you don't, you should know. So yes, Ben's here for how long you got left, mate? An hour? Yeah, an hour. Got an hour up. left and he's got to go and pick up the kids. So I had a really good day here yesterday. Um, so, but I didn't actually catch. I up two and, and lost two. But I've got just mullet gear out now. I've thrown out a load of bread. The tide's just coming in. It's a 4.5, so it's just starting to jump. We've seen loads of fish up here already moving around. And Ben's just got his little um, fun rod out here with a worm just out there, just in case any bass coming up. So yeah, see how we get on and uh, yeah, good luck. Right, so here we are, look, here's my new, my new, not invention, but this is what I've come up with. So it's basically a, an upside down fixed pat, and I've been getting more action on this rig than I have on the traditional fixed pat with the snood up here. So yeah, because it's closer to the bottom, see? So it'll waft around like that, near where all the bait is. So yeah, I reckon that could be good. You know, obviously you could just use a short pat, you know, it's not, it's not an upside down rig or anything. You could just shorten your pack like this. Yeah, very good tip. There we are, look. Getting bites. On the short pack. Here we go, getting loads of bites. There you go, you can have a closer look. Right, here we go. I just had a little tap on the left hand rod. So I've given you a tight a shot as I can get here. So you can see what the bites look like. Oh 
my god. Bites on that right hand rod, I've just missed them. Getting bites on uh, Ben's little bait rod to the left on the floor. Keeps ripping over. I think it's a gilt head. Well, Ben's disappeared. Go and get the kids. And I'm pretty much, pretty sure it was gilt head bites I was getting there. Bang, bang, bang. So I've taken that rig off because he's got a 3 0 on there and quite a big stinger at the back. And I'm just going to put out my ultimate estuary rig, size 2 0 top gun. See if that works. Here we go, look. Here we go. That's a good bite. Come on, my beauty. I've got no cameraman. Hello, my little friend. Are you looking for me? Nice to meet you. I'm the bass man. You can come with me. Lucky ball. Here we are. Big fish on here. I was really concerned at this point. The fish after the initial screaming runs had gone to my left over my other rod that I'd just literally cast out. I had to tighten the drag at this point and literally try and keep the fish high in the water away from my other rig. That was my concern here. Big fish. Yes, I got a lucky break here. I managed to steer the fish out in front of me and to my right, I was back in control. What a clonker. I said clonker. Just a shame we missed all those runs, man. Here we are, River Plim, stunning, stunning bar. Oh my goodness. Right, where she hooks, this is on the new rig. And there's the Kamakura pinned in the lip, baby. Hell yeah, what a scrap. Oh, it's such a shame Ben wasn't here to film that. What a fish, he's got to be four pound. Absolute clonker. Right, sort you out, mate. Right, well, here we are, guys. I'm absolutely buzzing with that. Here we go. There you go, guys. Lovely, beautiful, thick lip mullet from the River Plume. Yes. There we go, guys. 
beautiful mullet from the plim. Be nice on the smoker, this one. Oh yeah, she's a good three and three quarters, I reckon. Maybe not four, but a lovely fish. Really nice condition. Right, let's get her back then. You lucky you are. I ain't gonna smoke you, mate. Thank you. You are going back, mate. Thanks very much, tight lines, guys. Buzz in. There you go, mate. There she goes, right there. <laughs> See you, mate. There she is, look. If I touch her tail, she'll go. Just one flick of that tail. Come on. Here we go, there you go. Way gone. Thanks for bringing me down my drink, mate. I was getting a bit thirsty, but um, where's the rest of it? <laughs> Summer got thirsty. Was it you? <laughs> oh, thanks very much, mate. All right. like a professional tennis player, Ben. Go on, why? You know when they go and they get new balls, don't they? Yeah. And they... And then they put one in their pocket. Yeah. I'm a bit like that with the bread. I'll, like, I'll have... I'll feel a slice and then I'll go on and I'll <laughs> discard that. And I'll go on to another slice. Just so if it's a bit worn like a bit. Just till I get the golden ticket. That's right. Got it? Willy Wonka. <clears throat> that is the golden ticket. Have you heard there's a new sport? What's that? Whilst we're on the subject of tennis. It's called silent tennis. Yeah. yeah. It's like regular tennis, but without the racket. Hello, Mr. Susie. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to eat you. Behold, the demon tree. There we are guys, what a cracking session. Yes, cracking mullet from the River Plym and a couple of nice bass down on the lower end. Yeah, it, was, it, wasn't, it wasn't easy, it was a bit of a struggle. But yes, thanks for watching guys. Do me a favor, hit the like, it's just there on your remote. Ding, ding, ding. Hit, hit the bell for the notifications. Share the love, leave a comment, every little helps. Please just hit the like, ding. Yes, thanks very much for tuning in, guys. I'll be back very soon on the mullet. It's, it's mullet o'clock. I've got mullet fever. I can't help it. So, yeah, maybe um, on the gilt heads next. Tight lines. <laughs>